the spread and severity of the coronavirus pandemic has necessitated a sharp increase of testing globally. An oft-used and important statistic associated with testing is positive case-to-test ratio. What does this mean? It simply refers to the proportion of people who have tested positive out of the total tests performed. The positive case-to-test ratio offers crucial information about who are the people getting tested and prevalence of the infection. The efforts of government battling the coronavirus can be called successful if they are able to smother the ratio. To understand this further, we need to analyze testing in terms of specificity, sensitivity and prevalence. Specificity depends on people who will be tested at any point in time. For example, India had a high specificity of testing criteria during the early days of the outbreak of the pandemic. India then typically tested people with a history of foreign travel or were experiencing flu-like symptoms. Highly specific testing in India was broadened gradually. High specificity usually leads to fewer tests and a larger proportion of positive cases in people tested. In other words, it identifies people who have not been infected. When we refer to sensitivity, it is to identify the probability of an infected person testing positive. That way, containment interventions can be launched. High sensitivity in testing criteria means attempts to capture the majority of the population. Prevalence, as the term indicates, is the commonness of the infection in a population. Take the case of South Korea, which aimed to lower the prevalence of the infection in the population as part of its containment efforts. The country also reduced the specificity of testing criteria. It tested more and more of its population. Testing more people, including the asymptomatic people, that is, persons who show no symptoms, might lead to a lower proportion of positive tests, reducing the overall positive case-to-test ratio. Global trends show the COVID-19 curve peaks before flattening, meaning the ratio spikes before falling. In India, the positive case-to-test ratio differs across states. It is decreasing sharply in states like Kerala and Tamil Nadu while increasing in Maharashtra and Gujarat. Other states such as Madhya Pradesh and Delhi have a high ratio but it is receding. This means the prevalence of infection may not have declined but is balancing against the decreased specificity of the tests being conducted. Let us draw some parallels with the US, which is the global epicenter of the virus. According to Deborah Briggs, the White House COVID-19 response coordinator, he said, and I quote, So if you have 1% of your population infected and you have a test that's only 99% specific, that means when you find a positive, 50% of the time will be a real positive and 50% of the time it won't be. This can be better understood by the Bayes theorem which outlines the probability of an event based on prior knowledge of conditions that might be connected to the event. In the case of the virus, if a positive case-to-test ratio is lower because of the lower prevalence of infection, the theorem helps us understand that false positives make up a larger chunk of the results. The opposite also holds. Higher positive case-to-test ratio means there is a higher probability that the test results are correct. It helps determine the effectiveness of the lab tests known as RT-PCR conducted by the Indian Council of Medical Research and the use of rapid testing kits that were discontinued. Therefore, mass testing is a crucial weapon to fight the pandemic because it also determines the accuracy of testing. India so far has succeeded in preventing the spread of the virus through a combination of sustained lockdown and large-scale testing. But remember, the virus has thrown up many nasty surprises.